What's up, sports fans? It's your man, D. At Speak Your Mind Sports Talk. All right, check it out, man. Devin Haney first year. Uriel Gamble. Devin Haney should be ashamed of him. That's what I say about this fight. I mean, come on, man. Uriel Gamble, really? Already, like, listen, guys, he's been on a Hiatus. Of course, he had to have a surgery on his shoulder. We hadn't seen the kid in the ring since he defended his belt versus Al Alfredo Santiago. That was his first title defense. And he pretty much beat up Santiago, but that was an easy enough title defense. You've been off for a while, and you mean to tell me you're going to come back and give us a Uriokis gamble? Uriokas Gamble. This dude is getting ready to turn 52, man. Can't do better than this, Devin Haney. I mean, I'm not even going to say that I support this fight. It gets minimal, very minimal credit for me. Little, little bit of credit. I mean, Tank Davis already put him away, even though it took him 12 rounds. That was, to me, lack of what Tank Davis could do. But Gamboa's finished. He's finished. He's not going to present any challenges for Haney, in my opinion. Haney's going to beat him up pretty easy. And this is a terrible title defense, especially when you haven't defended well already and you've gotten your title, as Teofimo said in the email. I mean, I think Devin Haney could do a lot better than this. I don't see Devin Haney having too much problem with Uriel, Uriokas Gamboa. And to be perfectly honest, he probably should stop him because we all know that Uriokas Gamble is chinny. Um, and he's older. He's, you know, lost a few steps. He's on his way out the door. Um, and this is just simply not a challenge for Devin Haney. You're the champion now. You're no longer a prospect. There shouldn't be any questions. You're a champion now. You defended your title as a champion. So you need to fight champion caliber fighters, and Yuri Okis Gamboa is just not that. Um, however, just like in the Russell fight, there is somewhat intrigue to this fight. Not to mention, Philippe Hergovich is going to be facing uh, Rydell Booker. So we'll see for young Philippe Hergovich. Well, not too young. 26, 27. But anyway, I like Philippe Hergovich. Um, and he'll be facing American fighter Rydell Booker. And get, we get to get a hopefully at least some rounds in here. Good look at Philippe Hergovich. I'm very high on Hergovich. I would like to see him get in there with Daniel Dubois. I believe that Philippe Hergovich do Daniel Dubois. Yeah, but he's going to be on the undercard of this Devin Haney Gamboa fiasco. Uh, so we will get a look at him, and then we'll get a look at Chinese sensation. T. Li Zhang is going to be um, fighting also. He's going to be fighting another American. Uh, he's going to be fighting Devin Vargas on that night. So those two guys are going to be on the undercard as far as I, I, I heard, and it's going to be at the Seminole Hard Rock down in Florida. I um, guess they're going to be in the bubble on the protocol or what have you. So that's November 7th, and then Haney versus Yuriokis Gamboa. And, you know, once again, we'll get to see young Philippe Hergovic versus Rydell Booker. And then a look at Chinese sensations, Ellie Zhang. Ellie Zhang fighting Devin Vargas. But I tell you what, man, Devin Haney, this is the fight. That's the fight that we should have. It should be Devin Haney versus Tank. Davis, you know, not Devin Haney versus Uriokas Gamboa, Tank Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz. I mean, these guys really need to step up to the plate. And like I said, Devin Haney, you are the WBC champion now. You're not a contender. You're not a prospect. You are the champion. And you're not wearing that belt Well, fighting Alfonso Santiago in your first title defense. And then in your next title defense, we get Uriokas. Gamboa. You gotta be kidding me, Devin Haney. Um, 
got to do better than this kid. That's all I'm saying. I do expect Devin Haney to win this fight. And as I said in the beginning, and I'll say closing this thing out, Devin Haney, you should be ashamed of yourself. What a love of sports. Let's talk about it. Peace.